Dear friends, today we are talking about the top 5 basic industrial steam boilers problems and their solutions. Please subscribe this channel for more informative videos and stay connected with us. Top 5 Basic Industrial Boiler Problems and Their Solutions Boiler efficiency can be increased up to 90% by proper maintenance of the systems. Some of the common problems hinder the boiler's ability to produce output to its full capacity. As we are describing in our today's video, so let's start. 1. Priming. When the steam is produced in the boiler, some droplets of water get carried away with the steam resulting in the formation of wet steam. This phenomenon is termed as priming. Problem. 1. Deposits on the valves which may cause overheating and corrosion. 2. Reduced product quality which affects the heat transfer rates. 3. Higher steam consumption for the same power output. 4. Life of boiler and its components are subjected to danger. Cause. There are two main causes for priming to occur in a boiler. One is. Mechanical. And. Second is. Chemical. Mechanical causes. 1. Improper design of boiler shell. 2. Too high a water level. 3. Incorrect firing rate. 4. Boiler operating at a steam pressure below the design pressure. Chemical causes. 1. Presence of oil and organic matter in the boiler water. 2. Suspended solids in boiling water. 3. Highly alkalinity. 4. Soap like structures in boiler water. Solution. 1. Maintain low levels of salts in the water. 2. Efficient filtration of water used in the boiler. 3. Blow off the sludge from time to time. 4. Controlling rapid changes in the flow velocity. 2. Foaming. Formation of a layer of froth or stable foam on the surface of the water is termed as foaming. Problem. 1. Formation of soap like structures reduces the surface tension of water significantly, thus decreasing the boiler efficiency. 2. Fluctuation in water levels. 3. Water hammer problem. 4. Can lead to contamination and scaling. Cause 1. Presence of various chemical, especially alkalis and oils, and solid constituents in the boiling water. These oil and alkali constituents react to form soaps, which in turn lowers the surface tension thus increasing the foaming tendency. 2. The lubrication used in boilers serves as a source of oil, which is the primary source behind the effect of foaming. 3. Formation of small bubbles at the water surface, which do not break easily. Solution. 1. Use of anti-foaming agents such as castor oil. Anti-foaming agents neutralize the effects of surface tension. 2. Proper treatment of water before entry into the boiler in order to remove the foaming agents, such as oil, alkali. 3. Addition of sodium aluminates has proved to be an effective way to remove oil traces by entrapping oil drops. 3. Carryover. Carrying away of water containing soluble salts into the distribution system is termed as carryover. The salts essentially have an alkaline nature. Problem 1. The decrease in the efficiency of a boiler as the dissolved salts and solid particles have chances of getting carried away into the turbine blades and finally getting deposited over the blades. 2. Life of different parts of a boiler subjected to such water soluble salts is at stake. 3. A judgment of actual height of water column becomes difficult, making maintenance procedure quite troublesome. 4. Carryover poses a serious problem to the parts such as turbine blades, steam traps, valve bodies, etc. Cause. Presence of soluble alkaline salts in the boiler feed water. Solution. 1. 
ensure proper feed water treatment, too. Expert advice of a chemist should be considered regarding the boiler and feed water treatment, 3. Main steam stop valve should be opened gradually, 4. Maintain lower water levels, 5. Use anti-priming baffles, 6. Leakage of any foreign material into the boiler feed water system should be avoided, 7. Alignment of gauge glasses should be properly done. 4. Scale. A layer of water formed over the metal surfaces of the boiler is termed as scale. Scales are salts of calcium and magnesium, existing primarily in the form of sulfates or carbonates, which are highly insoluble in water. Problem 1. If there is scaling in the boiler, then the amount of fuel required to produce the same amount of steam may increase considerably in comparison to a boiler without scales. 2. Sodium sulfate is a strong electrolyte so it dissociates with water its conductivity is about one hundredth to that of steel thus causing hindrance in the heat flow. Even a thin layer of this scale on the metallic surfaces may reduce the boiler efficiency by, up to 20%. 3. The scale boiler becomes increasingly hotter due to resistance in heat flow, so this metal will become more prone to deformation and rupturing. 4. The heat transfer in the boiler is reduced due to the layers of scale that act as an insulator. Cause Hard water is the reason for scale formation in boilers. Solution 1. If the scales are adhered loose to the surface, a wire brush or scraper can remove them. 2. Thermal shocks may remove the brittle natured scales. 3. Frequent blowdown operations can be benefic in removing scale which is loosely held onto the surface of the boiler. 4. Hard scales require chemical treatment. For for example calcium sulfate scales can be removed by adding add to ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. 5. Corrosion. The active destruction of the boiler material through pitting action is termed as corrosion. It is the process of continuous decay or disintegration of the boiler material due to the electrochemical action of the dissolved oxygen with the boiler metal. Corrosion leads to rusting of ferrous metals, tools which are not regularly oiled and steel windows which are not regularly painted. Problem 1. The boiler metal gets eaten up quickly due to the action of dissolved oxygen leading to complete failure of the boiler system. 2. Increase in cost of maintenance and repairs. 3. Leaking of rivets and joint areas. 4. Reduced boiler life and possible chances of failure of the entire system. Cause the dissolved oxygen, about 8 parts per million at room temperature, sets free as the water is heated. This dissolved oxygen then reacts with the iron of the boiler to form a ferric oxide, known as rust. Solution 1. Addition of hydrazine or sodium sulfite or sodium sulfide. 2. By mechanical aeration under high temperature and vacuum conditions. We advise all the boiler users to thoroughly watch and understand this video so that they can use their boilers effectively and efficiently. If you have any query please write us at infothermaltech at gmail.com. Dear friends. Hope you enjoyed this informative video about top 5 basic industrial steam boilers problems and their solutions. Please hit like icon to encourage us to make this channel more effective. Please subscribe this channel for more technical informative videos. You can write us at infothermaltech at gmail.com. Thank you and good luck.